Welcome to your Monster Energy Recap, Round 4, the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Bono Cross Championship, High Point Raceway in southwestern Pennsylvania, providing the hosting duties. Also, Round 1 of the Monster Energy Triple Crown of Motocross. Let's get to the action. First, 250 Moto number 1, first whole shot of the year for the mighty Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki Army. It's Christophe Borsell and Jake Weimer battling early. Then Weimer would tangle with Ryan Dungey on lap one. That would send our series points leader Dungey to the back. Borsell out front, gone, dominant. He wins his fourth straight first moto this year. Quietly, Trey Kennard mounts an impressive charge from about 10th all the way back to second. He had to get around Tommy Searle, Tyler Rattray, and the rest. Dungey would have another crash coming through traffic, but eventually he would put his Suzuki into the number three position. So Moto 1 goes to Porcel, Kennard second, Dungey third. That sets up a great scenario for a battle for the overall in Moto number 2. 250 Moto number 2, Trey Kennard wants this overall win, his first in the worst way. His teammate Justin Barsha is going to put the 151 red bike in the lead. Kennard quickly goes around him in turn 1, and he's off and running. Porcel will push his way in the number 2 spot. Barsha rode solid, smart, controlled today, and put in solid finishes. Been tough for him so far this year. Porcel pressuring Kennard in the lead. Dungey would fight his way through to third. He would catch him. It would be a phenomenal three-rider duel for the overall and the moto win here at High Point. And then the heartbreaker with two laps to go. Kennard crashes hard on a big triple jump. He's out presumably for a while with a broken arm. Kennard goes from first to worst. Heartbreaker for him. Porcel inherits the lead. He goes 1-1 for the first time ever in the U.S. and takes the points lead away from Dungey who charged hard, but was not able to catch the Frenchman down the stretch. And behind Dungey, a group of the riders coming from Europe, Searle and Rattray. Good runs for them as well. On to the 450s, Moto1, a Suzuki gets a whole shot. That's not Michael Essie, it's Chad Reed getting a rare good start. It's been tough for him this year. He's off and running, but quickly a challenge from Honda rider Andrew Short, who gets around Reed on lap two. Reed would find his lines on the high point track, get back around Short. Short stayed close, as did Short's teammate Ivan Tedesco. Those three chased each other up and down the hills of High Point, while Josh Grant, the fastest man in both practice sessions today, put on an amazing run from the back of the pack. Eventually, he would even catch Tedesco and make the pass, and Short and make the pass. Two laps to go, even positioning himself for a run at Reed, but then a huge crash. Unbelievable that Grant was even able to get up. He would recover for sixth place, while Reed rolls to his first moto victory of the year with Short and Tedesco second and third. 450 Moto number two, Chad Reed wants to get the overall win, but the Honda boy is not going to make it easy on him. The nine of Tedesco gets the early lead and simply checks out. Reed took a while to get going, as he has in several motos this year. He stalked short for a while. Eventually, he would move around the number 29 and go after Tedesco. Meanwhile, the hero of Moto one, Josh Grant, huh, insult to injury, goes down in turn one, has to come from last. He would fight his way back to 11th and then have rear suspension problems down the stretch and still hold on to get a few points in that 11th place position. Meanwhile, up front, Reed goes after Tedesco late in the moto. He makes the pass. It looked like Reed was going to just simply walk away with it, but then Reed and Tedesco and a pile of other riders hit a tree root later on. They all fall down. No positions change. Reed holds on to go 1-1 and take the point lead away from his injured teammate, Michael Lessi. It's been a rough go of it so far for Chad Reed, but he made the most of it at high point. Now the series takes a weekend off, and we'll be back for the only night race of the tour at Thunder Valley just outside of Denver, Colorado, in two weeks. AllySports.com for all the information on the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.